Well, if you're a Windows Phone mobile user, you've been waiting for a long time for a lot of good applications to come out. They're starting to come out. But if you're a gamer, you've been really uh, maybe looking for one, and that is Steam. If you belong to Steam and you play games through Steam, they've had a mobile app out for quite a while for Android and iOS, and it's been released now for the Windows Phone. So I went out there to the store, and go over here, depending upon your version of Windows 10, the search is at the top, you type in here, you'll see some other programs here. The only one you want to be concerned with is the Steam Blue app. Uh, and that's the one that's officially uh, from Steam. When you click on it, you'll see here that it says Valve Corporation. Uh, very important. And that's the one you're going to want to uh, download and install. Now, according if you go look at the specifications for it, uh, it's a new release. It says it says not all uh, functions are available, but it seemed to be pretty complete to me. So uh, I went in here and uh, looked at the list of things it can do. So scrolling back up to the top of this list and everything, we're just going to go ahead and click on the install button up here and uh, start to download. Now I'm not going to spend a lot of time here on this is a normal downloading uh, uh, function here within the Windows Phone. Uh, it downloads pretty quick. Uh, of course you're going to do this on a Wi-Fi connection. And uh, we're going to go over and look at the list of the apps and see it's still installing here. But once it's there, uh, all we have to do is uh, press and hold on Steam and uh, we get the pin to start function. Uh, come over here, it puts it at the bottom of the menu. I'm going to uh, shrink it down to a small icon and take it uh, up here to the top and then launch it. Now Steam has gotten pretty serious about uh, security because accounts have been stolen and now that Steam has a marketplace where you can actually sell uh, some of your assets, uh, they are pretty serious about it. We'll get to that a little bit more later. But right here you're going to do what you always do and any kind of thing you're going to give them your username and password. So make sure you have your original Steam account. It's not necessarily your email address. If you've changed the email address, you probably have an older username. So make sure you have that before you start. Go ahead and log in. Now here it's going to ask you, it's going to send you a code in your email. And you're going to have to enter it here. So uh, this is the email. And it'll give you this code and you can, this code is a one-time use. Uh, if you have to do it again, you'll get a different code. So you go here, and you enter it right here in the box just above the submit uh, box there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and enter the code in uh, there. And once you have that code in place, uh, you can go ahead and click on submit. Now the first screen you're going to see is uh, the uh, one thing you to enable Steam Guard, which uh, if you read this, it says, the second paragraph says, each time you sign into your Steam, you'll be uh, asked for the code uh, that you're going to get through your phone. So you have to go get a code from your phone and then put it in in order to log in, security-wise. So, uh, going past that, if we keep on the on the upper left-hand corner of the uh, application here, you'll see a hamburger icon. It's called because of the three stacks there. And you'll see this uh, drop-down. Now, this is the standard for most... Uh, programs that are being written for Windows Phone. That's the style. And here you see there's a nice menu there. Uh, I'm not supposed to do mobile communications. Uh, you can take a look at that and decide uh, how you want to do it. It does not affect chat. Uh, so uh, don't get that confused. As a matter of fact, let's go over here to chat. And then you'll see here that uh, we can look at uh, your friends list. There's a chat uh, icon on the right. And you can go in there and uh, actually start up chat conversations with them. No, it's not a big deal chat. It's not uh, images and all that, just a regular text chat that you can uh, go ahead and, uh, and do. Uh, some quick uh, conversation there. If we go on now down to the store, and you'll see that there's several selections uh, for the store. Uh, now, store downloading is going to take a while, especially on a Wi-Fi connection. If you're on a regular uh, connection, uh, it's going to take a while. Uh, but here's the store here, what's on today. Uh, and you can take a look at what's there. Uh, the next you can go in and take a look if you, let's say you were at home and you uh, had decided to put something in your cart but you weren't sure, you didn't have time to check it out. Uh, so you want to do some more research while you're on that break at work. Well you can go in here and there's your store. You can go ahead and uh, process your uh, uh, purchase there. So then we move on to search. Search can also take a long time. Uh, 
So you want to be careful about doing that. Uh, once it comes up, you can just do browsing. What's uh, nice is that blue glowing half circle on the right up there near the top. If you click on that, you'll see that uh, you'll get some more uh, choices for filtering. And that's good because uh, you, on your phone it'll be a lot quicker if you're just downloading a, a list that's a lot smaller because it's been filtered down to what you're looking for. So take advantage of that, uh, that feature. So after uh, that, uh, we're going to go down to your wish list. And I'm sure you all have one. I have one that's got 30 games on it. Uh, so I can go in here and uh, see if anything's on sale, uh, maybe add something to it, uh, that kind of thing. And by the way, if you click on the wish list drop down, you'll get this menu. And you get this a lot during the Steam. They have an alternate menu uh, where you can actually do uh, some of your other things right there from that menu. Uh, so now we're going to go into the Steam News. Uh, and it is what it is. It's their ads of what's going on today and the daily deal and and stuff like that. Uh, I got one to the accounts next. Uh, accounts is uh, basically what it is. It's, you can scroll up and down on this page and see the status of uh, your account. Some of that is account security, for example, or family settings. You can go in there and uh, uh, change all those uh, right from your phone. Now moving on to community, uh, we can go here and take a look at discussions and all the other things that you might want to be interested in see what's going on with your favorite game. Uh, you can browse around and here again you can search and filter you can use the drop down to uh, find information you can click on the bar there that says uh, most popular uh, and I'll have to change that as well so we uh, simply choose an item that you want to uh, look for and you can uh, see things as far as the community goes now there's other things that are available uh, including the discussions um, and that kind of thing. So you just keep continuing down the community and you can take a look at your marketplace and what sale, sale is going on. Or, uh, By the way, read that important notice about security, uh, community activity, and uh, things like that. Now, skipping down in the menu, we're going to go down now to you and your friends. And the first item is activity. Now, there's a couple things here you can do. Uh, one is you can post your status. Uh, you can go in here and say, oh, post the status to your friends and do all that. You can also see what's going on with other people and what they're, they've been doing with their activity. Uh, after that, you know, we can go ahead and uh, take a look at your profile. And so we go in here and uh, make sure everything's up to, up to snuff and everything. Uh, you can uh, see different things about your profile there. Uh, after your profile, we can go take a look at your friends and see what they're up to. Now, rather than the chat, this one actually goes in and you can take a look at their activity. Just click on one of their names. You see the ones that are online or not. And uh, there's their level, number of badges. You can send a message from here. There's all sorts of things you can do here. So, uh, moving on, we can go into the uh, family uh, saving settings and change your family settings. A lot of people access the stuff. Uh, going on again. We can go into here and take a look at your screenshots and manage and uh, do things with those. You can also, by the way, do that, drop down again and say, uh, choose one of these other options. Uh, after uh, that, we can go in here and take a look at your badges and what you've earned. And after badges, uh, your inventory, which is actually your marketplace item, things that you, where you can sell stuff and, and all that. Uh, I don't do much of this stuff or that stuff, but the point of it is it's available to you in this application. And uh, here is your uh, inventory here. Biggest part of it all here, we're going to click on library uh, now, and it's going to eventually bring up your entire library. You can, by the way, filter it by recently played or uh, whatever, and take a look at your library. Um, you can actually use uh, their support function to contact uh, Steam here and you can say which one you want to have support on. Uh, you can also manage your users here. Uh, you can either uh, manage them by changing something or add a new user if you want to. Uh, all right from your phone. Uh, and then uh, you can actually uh, switch an account. Uh, but at first, if you don't have one, you're going to have to sign in as that other account and it has to go through that same verification process to do that. 
So uh, there's the last one, which is your settings, which is simply your language settings. So there we are, uh, Steam for Windows 10. Now, not all these functions may work 100% correctly and everything, but it's a great start. It's finally here. And I'm sure that uh, all the Windows 10 users that are out there, mobile users, uh, that are gamers, are very happy to have Steam available to them. So have fun and uh, let's go play some games. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos all here to help you make the most out of your system.